What's up guys? Just wanted to show this amazing RV. Michael's been touring all US with. Check out how awesome this thing is. Where monsters become real. Huh? See that thing going down the road? Monster Michael Todd. He's got a bunch of sponsors. Adults, Redcon, Femme Magazine, Tier Specialties, Kickstart, Bear Coats. That's Devin Bears, I think. Nine Line. This thing's amazing, really. Michael's in there. I'm going to go have a chat with him, ask him about his tour. But I think this is... I know that this kind of stuff has been done before. Like, I think Cobra did a tour in Sweden. But, yeah, it's got to be one of the first times, eh? What do you think of this uh, this vehicle here? With this vehicle right here? Yeah. Man, it is flashy, I'll tell you that, Yeah, man. sure is, eh? It's flashy as heck, but I love it, bro. Yeah. And then that guy right there, he's super inspiring. But you know who else is inspiring as well? <laughs> the guy behind the camera right here. Oh! Hey, that's me that guy right there <laughs> yeah well i i learned a lot from this man today he was on really? camera uh, was behind the camera uh, listen to his testimonies uh, man is good yeah well we all we all have some place in this world thanks man come on now yeah good times well let's go in and say hi to mike What's up, buddy? hey buddy How you doing? hey i got the Come in and film in your in your great little thing here. Check this place out, guys. I'm not sure he's got his doggies. <laughs> his doggies there. Right, right. There, there you go. Oh, Wrist man. roller. Roll look at this roller. Hey, I'm just gonna look around. You don't mind if I look around? Sure, Devin. Sure. Huh? Sure. <laughs> hey, Leo. <laughs> oh, your stuff. Hey, the you live in here? This is so cool. So, yeah, buddy. tell me, tell me about the tour. Man, fun me. <laughs> yeah. Having a ball. I am beat so. up, but having fun, man, having fun. Um, 47 states so far. The only one we haven't been in this RV is Arizona. My dogs have basically pissed in every state in the United States. <laughs> you know, we pull over, they go to pee. Now they eat uh, peanut butter sandwiches. But yeah, it's, uh, it's been pretty awesome, man. That is amazing. How many, so 47 states. Right, three months. Three months. How many miles you put on this thing? 16,000 and change right now. 16,000 miles. I'm a thousand from home. We have a little, probably another thousand mile trip to do next month. And then we have to go all the way to Arizona and back, which is probably gonna be another 2,500. So I'm, I'm we're gonna hit 20,000 miles. So that's incredible. So how many people <laughs> have you touched? Well, Rebecca, Marvin and Rebecca were talking about earlier. I've probably had 3,000 matches in three, three months. 3,000 matches? I would suspect. Wow. You know, I've grabbed a lot of people. Yeah. You know, but it's, uh, it's the it's the teardown process. Wait, honey, can you get the door of the way so we don't get the mosquitoes here in South Florida? Yeah, I mean, I can't, you know, people online are like, man, you're overdoing it, you're overdoing it. Think about it. I think, uh, I think everything's going to plan. I am... I'm broke down, but when I get home and I do everything that's necessary to heal, I think I'm going to level up. You know? Yeah, I think so too. I think you're going to crush it. So, three thousand people. Three thousand matches. Three. Okay, three thousand matches. Yeah, probably grips seven hundred and fifty to a thousand people. That's I would wild. I would. I'd say it's probably that. So closing in on a thousand. Mm -hmm. Uh. Like closing in on twenty thousand miles, right? Thousand arms, twenty thousand miles. Have you have you had any time for yourself? <sighs> we've had we've had some cool experiences. We when we were out in Northwest, we like lost signal some, and we would just so she, the, she does all the editing, right? Yeah. So we, it took us a while to get some videos out on the Northwest portion because I could not allow her to sit in that seat with her head down. Right. As we were passing some of the most beautiful scenery we've ever seen. Yeah. I'm like, honey, we'll just do it at night, but you have to look at this. 
or look at the mountains or look at the sunset or whatever. It's been it's been pretty amazing. Boondocking yeah. Boondocking in Oregon was amazing. Boondocking in Oregon. So that was one of the coolest things. We were driving down the coast of Oregon, and uh, we see these RVs pulled off. You see these three big rocks out there. It's called Three Sisters or something. And uh, we pull up. I'm like, is it cool to boondock here? Like, yeah, yeah, no problem. And we look out there, and we watch the sunset down over these amazing rocks over the ocean. We're like, hey, there's a cave down there. So the next morning we go do cardio, and we we you know do this trail down in the cave, and you go up in the rock, and halfway up the rock there's a cave that goes in. You see the ocean coming, rushing in. No way. Amazing, amazing. And we walked out to the sand where, where we climbed up on the rocks, and then there's two different spots where the oceans come in. They meet in the middle, they meet from the other side where you can see. It. Amazing. I'm just amazing. So you must have like some favorite spots. That was definitely one of them. That's one of them, yeah. The the day we spent that I suggested you go do a Devon Bear mm -hmm. in Mo in Wyoming, unbelievable. Yeah. Montana was just like so many places that we didn't realize how beautiful we have to come back. Like, we yeah. just didn't have enough time. We have to go back. Like, I'm gonna spend a week here. I'm gonna spend a week there. But the but, art wrestlers everywhere were just amazing. I can't choose any specific club, any specific group that we enjoyed more because everyone was so awesome. Ready to learn, ready to teach, ready to pull. Extremely to hospitable, fun. extremely, you know, I mean, yeah. we just, it's just like, the, that's that's the camaraderie of the sport. You know, we've said it for years. If you go to a state or a country and you don't let an arm wrestler know you're there, they're pissed like, dude, why didn't you tell me? You could have came in. Yeah. You know, it's just, people are gonna open their homes to you and that's just the sport that we live in. And it's, we got to experience it firsthand on the road. There's not a place that we went to that someone has not, hey, you wanna stay at me? Do you wanna stay at me? Do you wanna come, you know, and at first, I was just accepting everything because I, I want to try to please everybody. And then Rebecca's like, listen, you've got to stop. You're overbooking. You're arm wrestling every day. Devin told you to wait three days between <laughs> arm wrestling. Yeah. You know, you're not listening to anything he told you. Um, but, yeah, it's uh, it's been an experience, man. And like I was telling you, the tour ends in December. We will finish up the last leg of the tour. And then this, I mean, this, this RV is ours. So at any point ever in the future, we want to hop in this thing and just go get a tournament a week for four weeks or six weeks. We can't. Yeah, we want to you know come to, come to Canada and see you and try. We, the options there, you know. So that's that's what's cool about it. I mean, you've been talking about doing this for years. I mean, I feel like this has been a dream that, that so many people, not just you, but a lot of people, would love to do something like this. Just tour, see the country, arm wrestle. I mean, really. I, I, so whether you're an arm wrestler or not, it, none of us are promised tomorrow. Go travel. Yeah. Go see, there's so many beautiful places, man. I mean, it's just, it's just, that's why, I, I mean, I had to try to figure out a way for us to do this together. She went back to work for a year, and I'm like, listen, that, that's not, that doesn't work for us, because our life has always been, you know, 24-7. It's me and her. We do this life together, and seeing these things and seeing her reactions when she sees something that's amazing for the first time, yeah. it's just, it's a joy to be a part of that. And that that part itself, you know, if you, if you can travel with your best friend, we got our dogs, and then we get to arm wrestle on top of that. You know? It's incredible. Yeah, it's it's cool. incredible. Now, I'm the little bit that I know you, I know you're a super hard worker. And, <laughs> like, have you, like, I just think if you could do it again and do it perfect, would you do less arm wrestling? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if I could do it perfect, perfect, I would, I would schedule more downtime for us. Yeah. Because we're getting to have the experience. But like I'm past, I've, I've scheduled it so tight that I'm just running. I'm 300 yeah. miles a day. You know, I'm I'm in that sea 300 miles a day. Yeah. And we'll see something like, oh, we'll have to come back. You know, we can't stop. No, I don't have time. And I don't like that. I've, I'm so rushed. Yeah. But I, I did it to myself because once we brought the partners on, I felt like I had a certain obligation to do everything that was going to help build their brand while I built my brand. Mm. When it to, to really enjoy it, you need to not have such a schedule. You know. How would you do it better? Like, I feel like you kind of laid out, like, I'm going to be here at this day, here on this day. And people knew, right? Right, yeah. So you kind of had to meet those timings. Right, right. So to do it better, <laughs> honey, you take that. You take that question. How would we do it better? I think perhaps not having such a rigid schedule in this place on this day. Just And we should have given ourselves eight or ten months instead of six months. I did try to do it too and, soon. And, yeah. You know, you know, we could just be like, we're going to be in the Northwest. Well, maybe we go and we spend three, four days in Montana instead of one night in Montana. Maybe you go spend three, four days in California with that group instead of just one night quick. Like, you know? we literally, literally showed up in California, stayed a night at Luke Kenton's driveway, went up the next day, did the seminar, pulled everybody in Petaluma, then jumped in it and drove to Las Vegas. 
and then we drove to you know yeah. Lake Tahoe, and then it's just which, like I said, we we saw amazing places. Meeting all the people has been so much fun. But I think the best way to do this is to not have such a rigid timeline. Give yourself more time and put your arm on the table, like he was talking about every Less third frequently. day, <laughs> every fourth day. Maybe just hang with arm wrestlers for a couple of days, and then the third night you arm wrestle. You know, How would you do it? How would you do it? Uh, well, if you had this opportunity yourself, I mean, I'm assuming you would do it here, not in Canada, or would you do it? In well, Canada? wherever. I mean, in Canada, wherever. Uh, you know, look at I love the roving, traveling, nomadic lifestyle. It's cool. Like, um, but the thing is, and I understand you you got some obligations, so it there's there's some things that you got to be considered. But for me personally. I just like being like really more just like a leaf in the autumn wind just yeah. you know like um, I decide I decide I want to go a place I go I stay yeah. and then just go somewhere else and like but but uh, you know I, I'm just right now I'm I'm thinking about this where you work an area for longer that's kind of got kind of like that that whole house thing you're talking about yeah just kind of stay in an area a little bit longer because i feel like you know i've done a lot of uh oh, i think one of your guys is getting you want to go let my outlet in the lap or something no, she's not. okay i feel like you know i've done a lot of things where i'm there for short times short times you know introductory but i think that there's like a little bit deeper where you can stay just a bit longer like maybe stay in a place for like two weeks three weeks so you really get a bit more of a deeper understanding of the region. Um, I think I'd like to work like like a more populated area. So maybe I'd drive to uh, you know a more major center, and I'd stay there and I just work that area for like five days, seven days, ten days, or whatever, right. and then move on to the next one. Uh, but you, you guys have done it. It's awesome. It's so cool. Yeah, it's been cool. But I mean, like I said, it took away some of the people. Like, oh, it must be cool to be on vacation. I'm like, yeah, it would have been if we'd been on vacation. <laughs> you know, we, uh, it's been a job, but it's been a, it's been a blessing at the same time to get to do this. I mean, how many people get the opportunity to do this? You know. So you are going to do it again. You're going to, like you say, you're going to go to Arizona. Yep. So we'll, yeah, we'll keep be, your eyes open. Right. For the for the traveling billboard. Follow him around. <laughs> oh, the funniest thing ever. We was driving over to the uh, venue today, and a guy was talking about marketing. He goes, on the back of your RV, you should say, don't follow me home. Follow me on Instagram. Oh, that's well, brilliant. I was like, that's genius. Why that's did I not do that brilliant, shit? brilliant, man. Don't right. follow me home. Follow, follow me, me on Instagram. Instagram. I was like, I've got to rewrap that back. <laughs> that's that amazing. That is smart. Yeah. That really was good, right? Super like, smart. It, it just made sense, because yeah. on Instagram, it's a follow, you know? Mm. You want to get out there. You have nothing better than the thing that you're in. It's a big flag. It's fucking, yeah. It's so a big flag. This is just a really large flag, yeah. you know? But it's been cool. I mean, how many times have people honked at us, flexed when they drove by, peace signed us, you know, oh, hang loose? Okay. You know, was, so what's so funny about that, though, is that people will honk at us, and Michael's like, what are they honking at? I'm like, uh, probably the rat in the back. <laughs> I get a little roid rage. <laughs> My road rage is roid road rage. Yeah, <laughs> that's you know. so funny. Freudian slip. Ah. Yeah, Freudian slip much. But yeah, so yeah, I, it is, it's difficult to drive one of these in major cities. Yeah. Because you're talking five, six lanes of traffic, mm. people moving, and then you you get an understanding of why the RV guy or the diesel guy leaves a gap between them and the next car if they're going to have to stop. Right. Because it takes a bit to slow, stop this thing. Yeah. Well, then you got a car that's whipping right in front of you. Yeah. And then you just took down my space like half the distance. I'm like, oh shit, I'm going to hit the brakes. Honey, hold on. How many times have you fallen? How many times have you fallen from me taking a curve or hitting the brakes? Because she'll be up making my food or doing something. She's like, oh shit! <laughs> Bam! She's hit the wall, or she slammed into this. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we've we've had some fun. It's awesome. So, do you, like your workouts when you're on the road. Okay, so we wrist roll. Like, so those dumbbells, just thirty pound dumbbells. So I'll do five sets of thirty curls. Yeah. Palm up, hammers, reverses. You know, thirty reps. Uh, you know, one hundred fifty total reps. 
but in between them, I'll do wrist rolls and I'll do flex grippers and then I'll finish with my ropes. That's a portable rope pulling machine that's yeah. anchored in at the oh, bottom. Yeah. And then sometimes that uh, loading pin with the weight on it will sit there and I'll just do pronation like this while I'm driving, you know? Yeah. So, uh, and then we have barbells, uh, battle ropes, wall balls, right. all that shit underneath here that will. Yeah. Rebecca did a workout in the salt flats. Oh, so cool. Dude, we got a video of her doing battle ropes, a CrossFit workout at salt flats. And then we did one, and what was it, in the Rocky oh, Mountains? Water. When you could look in the, like, we pulled over this older bank parking lot that was empty, but the background was the Rocky Mountains. Mm. And the sun was starting to set, and we were doing a workout. We've done them in Walmart parking lots, too. So. Yeah, we've done them there. We've that done is... them in Gander Mountain. We've done them in, you know, Cabela's. Yeah, that's yeah. wild. You are, you are harvesting the nation of its arm wrestling energy you know <laughs> soaking it all up have you up. found any any gems found anybody that you're like there have been yeah. some random guys and like obviously people look at the youtube videos oh who's that no name just because they don't have a youtube or social media yeah. means no name. i mean guys national champ whatever yeah but there are randoms that just show up and like holy shit yeah you found anybody that's like hey i haven't it. found a college yet okay but i have found a couple guys that if you give them a little bit of work yeah they could be contenders you know? yeah yeah, Khaled's kind of a... Well, I mean, he's a freak, but they're out yeah. there. Oh, I know. You know, I was talking about it, we was talking about it in the interviews uh, earlier today, that you, you and I both know that it's a time of giants right now. Yeah. And the sport has just evolved, and it's a new era. And as this thing grows, as it gets bigger, there's going to be some crazy people come out of the woodworks. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, so since we put out our video, I've had a lot of young guys messaging me, I'm the guy. I'm, I'm the, guy. the guy. Oh, I I'm love the, that. I'm the guy, so that's good. So yeah, come find us. They are out there. Yeah. So yeah, find a club, work out. I mean, it's it's you'll you'll find this in this sport. People will greet you with open arms. They they want more people involved. We love what we do. You know. Yeah. We we've done this for years for no money, right? I mean, we've tried. We've done. How long have you been competing now? Uh, it's over a quarter of a century now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I'm three weeks into my 32nd year. Yeah. We've done all the, let's go get trophies, let's go get yeah. titles, let's drive, a, load up five people and drive across the country to a tournament, you know? That's the fun stuff. You, selling, you selling anything out of this thing? You got We got merch. merch. Yeah, we got a Monster yeah. Factory t-shirts. Um, okay. Uh, I don't have any, like, you got equipment any, like, I didn't bring in. You Monster equipment. Tour, I Survived Monster Tour. 2021 oh my god yeah. you, why are you not doing my marketing uh, <laughs> this yeah, is amazing yeah, yeah, yeah. i really like that yeah, yeah. well i mean yeah. hey you need like you know you do this tour you do the area and make sure i don't know like i mean all the random people that get a chance to pull you probably uh, so that's what happened on the first leg um i didn't have any merch with me and they're like do you have any merch you got merch i don't know we can go to the website so then we just started buying, you know, a right. couple boxes of shirts, and right. we, we sell out every tour, you know. Yeah. I think we probably got, what, like 30 or 40 more back there right now from this tour. So if we, and we buy, we get different colors. Yeah. So that we're not having to, like, look through all blacks, because there's different designs. Yeah. So each design's a different color. Okay. So it's, yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, that way you can just, yeah, it's, it's been fun. But we've got the, the army green one with the, the black, I mean, the half face on it and all yep. that stuff. And it's been, yeah, I like that one. I like that. That's, yeah, that's I mean, sure. they, uh, Hector, Hector Beltran did a good job. Yeah, there. he's good. That's a good design. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, I could have done it better as far as like merch and things like that. I'm not, I'm, my, I do have, have you seen my new website? MonsterMichaelTodd.com. Yeah, but the new, have you seen it since they updated it? Mm, Dude, Red Con. No, I think I have. They fucking yeah, kicked really ass good. on yeah, that. Yeah, it's a good yeah, site. Yeah. Um, but I still don't have everything laid out like you do with your no limits as far as orders. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. I've got a, a, a shirt guy back home. And, you know, he's running another business, so it's just not as refined as I'd like it to be. Mm. But, I mean, it's it's a progress, you know, we're, we're moving forward. And, yeah. Yeah, I'm excited. Like I said, I, I'm cool. It's cool to be here. It's cool to just pull up in this and see you here, and then, you know, Travis shows up, and everybody's here. But this has been our life, dude. Oh, this listen, I think it's amazing. I think you guys are doing groundbreaking stuff. I think, uh, Rebecca, I know that none of this could happen without you, so, like... <laughs> I tell you, she deserves all the, all you're, the phrase. You're, you're a lucky not guy, me. Mike. Good, <laughs> good job, me, yeah. Michael, for picking Rebecca. <laughs> but uh, it's awesome. The whole thing is so cool. You guys are bringing arm wrestling to the nation. Uh, I, I like what a flagship, and 
Yeah. That means a lot, man. I appreciate yeah, no, it. And one, cool. We will have to, even if it's a short tour, at one day, I'll, I'll pick you up at the airport. We'll go somewhere Absolutely. for a week or something. Absolutely. It's got to happen. Yeah, it's we can, happen. We can, and we just set a GoPro up and just film all the shit. We'll yeah, Truman man. Show. Yeah. We'll just let that shit film the whole yeah. time, yeah. you yeah. know? <laughs> Guys, follow Mike. Follow his tour. He's coming to a town near you soon, so don't miss out. It's incredible we stuff. We will actually be at Pensacola.